hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to talk about the benefits of counting calories and what i have learned from it so this information is going to be based on my personal experience with counting calories every article that i've read and every video that i've watched here on youtube that discredits counting calories and the reason why it doesn't work to lose weight always end up saying not all calories are created equal for example a 300 calories of eggs is not the same as a 300 calories of a donut with an egg it's mostly fat protein and it's unprocessed it also has nutrients which makes it more satiating than eating a donut so basically the argument is when people base their weight loss on calories it shifts away your mentality from food towards numbers which can lead to unhealthy food choices as long as you are hitting a certain number so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you why this is the complete opposite and contradictory and also i'm going to explain why counting calories is a great tool to facilitate your fitness goals so first of all when you start eating less than usual your body and mind will put up quite a fight and try to get you to curve because you are simply used to eat more and sometimes it just becomes a habit you know like you can train your body to eat at a certain time so when your body is used to eating large amount of food and when you start restricting calories and eating less than usual it's going to be hard at first especially in my case i used to be a mindless eater just because the food was there not necessary because i was hungry so it became pretty much like a habit and at first i thought i was hungry all the time but then i soon realized that i wasn't really hungry it was just cravings my body was just used to eating more food like i was struggling i was like oh my god I need to eat but i had a goal in mind i had put on weight and i couldn't fit into my clothes anymore and my skinny jeans wouldn't even fit me anymore i wanted to lose the weight so i knew that i had to stick to it after about three to four weeks it subsided and my body acclimated to the number of calories i was eating in other words your body adapts to eating less food so let me explain to you why counting calories can actually lead you in the right direction when i started counting calories i had to make a lot of changes to my diet like lean meats high protein a lot of fruits and vegetables complex carbs so let's say you need to eat 1500 calories to lose one pound a week just using that as an example anyone who has tracked calories knows how fast calories add up so an average donut is about 400 calories eating a half bag of chips in one sitting is somewhere roughly around 500 calories depending on the brand a whole bag of chips in one sitting forget it that can easily be over 1000 calories and before you know it 90 percent of your daily recommended calories is gone and the problem with junk food, highly processed food, refined starch and carbs, and food that are high in sugar, like sweets, are high in calories, which would take up a lot of your daily recommended calories. And they are not satiating at all, so you're going to be hungry. Then eating whole nutrients dense food, such as fruits, vegetables, lean protein, which is more satiating, and will eliminate your urge of snacking in between meals so when you are restricting calories to lose weight you are going to gravitate the most satiating and nutrient dense food you can possibly eat to get you through without feeling like you are starving the entire time and this will make it easier for you to maintain a calorie deficit so you can see like why counting calories is a great tool to jumpstart your fitness goals it's not as bad and unhealthy as people make it seem there's always an assumption that counting calories 
equals bad eating habits. People seem to think when people track their calories to lose weight, you are eating junk food all the time. You're just looking at calories and all the nutrients of the food. Counting calories and eating well can go together. It's not mutually exclusive. Without further ado, let's talk about what I have learned from counting calories. The first benefit is accountability. So before I started counting calories, I never thought about what I was eating. I would mindlessly snack throughout the day, like digging into a bag of chips while I answer emails. I would be grabbing a lot of calorie dense food throughout the day. I was eating hundreds of calories over my daily recommended without even realizing it. Like a handful of nuts can rack up your calories really quickly. So I'm not going to mindlessly have seven handful of goldfish and see 500 calories it just added to my day. I mean, of course, I would love to just like pick out all day and eat as much food as I want without stopping. But at the same time, I still want to fit in my clothes, right? I don't want to be fat. So I cannot have it both ways. The second benefit is it saves money. And I'm going to explain why. When I started tracking my calories and eating less, I stopped eating double or even triple serving sizes of food. I stopped the mindless snacking throughout the day, which decreased my trip to the grocery store because food was lasting me longer. Especially calorie dense foods like nuts, oh, they last me forever. I was eating only when I was hungry, not just because it was there. Even when I order takeouts, which is not often, I could easily divide the food in two meals. So basically, I stopped eating out as much since I was making health conscious decisions. Like, I don't even remember the last time I bought this, you know, I don't have this every day because it's very calorie dense. Um, but when I do have it, I don't have more than a serving size. So serving size is, is about 300 calories per serving size. It's pretty much just a handful. The third benefit of counting calories is you don't have to give up your favorite foods to lose weight. Before I started counting calories, I used to think that certain food make you fat because that's what we are taught with the diet culture that like if you want to lose weight, don't eat bread, don't eat this, don't eat red meat, don't eat this, don't eat that because they're going to make you fat. But the thing is like you can absolutely lose weight while eating healthier. It's not anything to do with the healthiness of the food. The reason why you lose weight while eating healthy is due to calorie intake because healthy food like fruits and vegetables are going to have less calories than junk food, right? So that's common sense. I realized that it's not what you eat, it's how much you eat. I don't have to cut anything off my diet to lose weight. But the key is to eat it in moderation it's all about portion control. You don't have to give up cheesecake. You don't have to give up ice cream. You can still eat these foods. You just learn to eat them in moderation and it's all about portion control. So for me, myself, like I love bacon and bacon is high in calorie. So whenever I have bacon, I only have two slices. I don't have more than seven sides. Like I can still eat things like ice cream. I can still eat things like chips in moderation, but the difference is I don't eat a whole bag of chips in one sitting. I don't eat like a whole jar of ice cream in one sitting. You don't have to give up your favorite food. And I'm talking from, from personal experience. I never cut anything off my diet. I just need to eat the unhealthy food groups in moderation and still lose weight. The fourth benefit of counting calories is it facilitates a lifestyle change. And counting calories is a great tool to facilitate a lifestyle change because lifestyle change is what makes a weight loss permanent which is important when you count calories you learn about portion sizes and micronutrients the great thing is after you track calories for a while six months to a year or longer and you've been consistent with it you are at a different place at that point when you started you had no idea how many calories are in food you commonly eat you had no idea the difference between one tablespoon of peanut butter and three tablespoons of peanut butter. As I gone through it, I realized and I was like, whoa, a slice of pizza is about 400 calories. 
No wonder why it's so easy to eat a bunch of it and gain weight. And wow, an avocado salad has a lot of calories in it, especially when it's drenched in dressing. So now when I make salad, I make sure I don't use more than a serving size. Like salad dressing it ranges anywhere from like 20 calories per tablespoon to 100 calories depending on, on the brand, on what type of salad dressing you get. So whenever I make my salad, I don't use more than a serving size. So the one that I have right now is about 50 calories per tablespoon. So I, I don't use more than that. So I'll make my salad and I put the dressing on the side. So when I eat my salad, I just dip the dressing on it. Instead of like drenching dressing over my salad. Because this salad could easily be a 400 calorie salad from the dressing alone. So you learn these things when you count calories. And when you stop, it's not like that knowledge will go away. It's not like that disappears. You start making better decisions overall. So in conclusion, not only does counting calories is a great method that guarantees weight loss, it leads to habitual knowledge about food and how much your body needs and what constitutes as an appropriate portion size. You start to build good habits along the way. Your stomach capacity will decrease you will unconsciously start to eat less because you are introducing a system of control. You learn what is healthy and what is not. I like eat unhealthy foods groups in moderation. Like for example, I don't go out of my way to buy junk food when I do my groceries. But if I were to go to like a special event or at a friend's house or a family gathering or whatnot and there's some trees there, in that case I will treat myself. Because I find in having it in my house, it's more tempting to overeat and it's so easy to overeat junk food. So basically, you get to a point where you're able to eyeball portion sizes and once you reach a healthier weight, which will make transition to maintain your weight far more easier than if you're eating some type of diet that restricts certain food groups. So at this point, for myself, I no longer count calories because I was able to apply that knowledge that I learned from counting calories to maintain my weight but if i were to slip back into my old eating habit it's always available you know i can always go back to it to get back on track again so guys that's it for this video thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye